everyone welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day before starting the video. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Joel Deering's killer has finally been revealed on Coronation Street in a special flashback episode. This month saw the introduction of new suspects, each with a unique reason for killing Joel, adding to the intrigue surrounding the villain's end. Max Turner confessed to the crime in yesterday's, November 14, episode after trying to flee with Lauren Bolton and her infant son, Frankie. Carla Connor confronted the two, recalling their strange actions on the night of Joel's death. Max then turned himself in to the police, claiming that he used the CS spray, which he had taken from DS Lisa Swain's bag, to battle Joel. He claimed to have pushed Joel's lifeless body into the river beat him with a rock in self-defense, and then fled with his suitcase. But in tonight's, November 15, episode, Lauren was revealed as the true murderer, and a number of flashbacks filled in the blanks in Max's story. As the accounts of the several suspects were put together, viewers were transported back to the night of Joel's death. Max went to find Joel with the stolen CS spray after Lauren used her tracker app, to determine his whereabouts since she was afraid of where he might be hiding. Max ran up to the bridge after finding Joel's fictitious suicide note in his car, which resulted in a confrontation between the two. Joel ridiculed Lauren and teased Max in spite of the CS spray directed at his face. He took off running. I went up to him. He seized me by the neck. Max told DC Kit Green, I was having trouble breathing. When Lauren came, Joel was nearly killing Max by strangling him. Joel was killed when she whacked him with a rock. Lauren was afraid of losing her son, but Max encouraged that they call the police. In a frenzy, the youth threw Joel into the sea, leading everyone to believe that he had committed suicide. He jumped off that bridge into that water because he couldn't live with himself, Max said. What he had done was too much for him to handle how he mistreated and injured others. At the same time, Max was accused of killing someone. He said it was self-defense, but he still accepted responsibility for Lauren. But not everybody was persuaded. David started questioning Lauren because he was certain his kid didn't kill Joel. But will she tell the truth now that Max's future is at stake? Thanks for watching this video, and please subscribe our channel Street Gossip for more update news.